China has just pulled off the unthinkable. SMIC, the Chinese chipmaker once shackled by crippling US sanctions, has just unveiled a working 2 nanometer chip. This is not just a step forward. This is a seismic shift, one that could completely upend the global tech hierarchy. The burning question now, is the US already too late to stop China's meteoric rise? Let's break this down, because what's happening here is nothing short of world-changing. Here's the jaw-dropping part. Just months after being cut off from EUV technology, the gold standard in advanced chipmaking, SMIC has defied all expectations and delivered a working 2 nanometer prototype. And get this, they're not just stopping there, they're preparing for mass production. This isn't some experimental concept, it's a full-fledged technological revolution. The announcement sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving the world in stunned disbelief. No one saw this coming. Meanwhile, the US stands eerily silent perhaps scrambling behind closed doors, trying to figure out how to respond. And Taiwan, home to chip giant TSMC, is feeling the pressure too. Their lead, once insurmountable, is shrinking fast. The tech world is in a frenzy and the million dollar question is, how did SMIC pull this off in the face of such crippling sanctions? Before we dive into that, do us a quick favor. Subscribe to our channel. It helps us expand our reach and continue bringing you deep dives like this. Now, let's break down why this 2 nanometer chip is such a game changer. A nanometer represents the size of the transistors, the microscopic switches that drive every calculation inside a chip. The smaller the transistors, the more you can pack into a chip. More transistors mean more power, more efficiency, and the ability to handle enormous tasks like artificial intelligence. A two nanometer chip is next level. To put this into perspective, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. We're talking about pushing technology to the absolute edge of what's physically possible shrinking a city's worth of technology into the space of a single neighborhood. Now let's talk competition. Apple's M3 chip, powering the latest iPhones and MacBooks, runs on a 3 nanometer process, already an extraordinary feat. TSMC, the Taiwanese giant behind Apple's chips, is working on a 2 nanometer process but hasn't yet begun mass production. Then there's SMIC, China's homegrown chip maker. Not only have they developed a working 2 nanometer prototype, but they're already preparing to scale up production. If they pull this off, they won't just be catching up, they'll be taking the lead. Meanwhile, the US is lagging behind. Intel, the American giant, is still rolling out 7 nanometer chips with 3 nanometer on the horizon. But China? They're already at 2. The gap is closing fast. It's like this. While the US is upgrading to a top tier sports car, China is already test driving a spaceship. And don't forget AI. These 2 nanometer chips could give China a colossal advantage in the race for artificial intelligence dominance enabling them to process data at lightning speeds. This is a game changer in an era where AI will shape everything from healthcare to national security. So how did SMIC manage to pull this off without access to the world's most advanced chip-making tools? This is where it gets even more jaw-dropping. Let's talk EUV Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography. This cutting-edge tech is the secret sauce behind the world's most advanced chips. EUV machines are like super-precise lasers, carving the smallest circuits onto silicon wafers. Companies like TSMC and Samsung rely on EUV to create transistors smaller than ever before. But there's a catch. EUV machines come from ASML, a Dutch company, and US sanctions have blocked SMIC from getting their hands on these vital tools. Without EUV, creating a 2 nanometer chip should have been outright impossible. But SMIC didn't back down. They found a way around it. One potential solution? DUV, Deep Ultraviolet Lithography. It's the older tech that EUV replaced. It's not as precise, but it's still powerful. If SMIC could use DUV creatively, employing a technique called multi-patterning, they could still pull off the impossible. Instead of a single perfect exposure with EUV, SMIC would use multiple DUV exposures, building up the intricate patterns needed for a 2 nanometer chip. It's slower, more difficult, like trying to carve a sculpture with a dull chisel instead of a sharp one. But it works. If SMIC has mastered this technique, they've turned an outdated tool into a game changer. They've proven that innovation isn't just about having the latest tech. It's about how you use what you have. But that's not all. Huawei, another Chinese tech behemoth, has been facing the same sanctions as SMIC. They've been pouring resources into chip R&D, looking for a way to break free from Western tech dominance. Word on the street, at least in tech circles, is that SMIC and Huawei have quietly joined forces. Think of it as two friends swapping notes before a big exam. Huawei has the cash and R&D muscle, while SMIC has the manufacturing expertise. Together, they could have cracked the code, secretly sharing knowledge and resources to leap ahead. And then there's the bigger picture. China's relentless push for self-reliance. 
the country has been quietly building its own supply chains, creating a tech ecosystem that doesn't rely on Western suppliers. SMIC doesn't need foreign imports for critical materials like silicon wafers, chemicals, or equipment. It's like having your own kitchen, so you don't have to beg your neighbor for ingredients. By tapping into these domestically sourced supply chains, SMIC has managed to sidestep the sanctions that have crippled access to Western technology. Put it all together and SMIC's success becomes even more impressive. They've innovated with older tech, built an independent supply chain, and sidestepped Western sanctions. They've done it all without relying on the world's most advanced tools, and that is a triumph of ingenuity and perseverance. This isn't just a breakthrough in chip technology. This is a harbinger of a new world order in tech. And China? They're now playing the game on their own terms. The question remains, how will the US respond as it watches its lead slip away? The stakes couldn't be higher. The rise of China in the global tech landscape is no longer just a theory. It's becoming an undeniable reality. The tectonic plates of power are shifting, and the United States, once the dominant force, is being relegated to the back seat. The sheer speed of China's technological ascent has caught the world off guard. And now, the US finds itself scrambling, struggling to catch up to a force that is relentlessly surging forward. This is more than just a victory in technology. This is a declaration of war. Bold, ruthless, and unmistakable. China is no longer playing by the old rules. What we're witnessing is the rebirth of resilience. An unwavering march toward absolute independence. Whether it's DUV multi-patterning acting as a lifeline for Huawei or SMIC's relentless drive to build an indomitable local supply chain, it's clear. China no longer needs the West. And the world? The world is watching, and it's starting to tremble. And then SMIC drops a bombshell, two nanometer chips. This isn't just a technological breakthrough. This is an earthquake that reverberates through the global tech arena. Where does this leave the United States? What shockwaves will this send through every corner of the global tech landscape? The implications are far greater than anyone has dared to imagine. Let's talk about Washington's response, or rather, the chilling silence that's coming from the Capitol. No outrage, no panic, no press conferences, not even a hint of new sanctions. It's almost as though Washington doesn't even know how to respond like a punch to the gut that no one is prepared to recover from. But don't mistake this eerie silence for inaction. Behind closed doors, the stakes have never been higher. The US has weaponized its tech controls, using everything from EUV machines to software bans, pressuring allies like the Netherlands to block crucial sales. But now this SMIC breakthrough is a glaring slap in the face. All those sanctions? They're beginning to look like nothing more than paper tigers. SMIC's leap forward is threatening to expose the American strategy as a failure, spectacularly so. You can bet on this. New sanctions are coming, and they'll be more drastic than anything we've seen before. The US cannot afford to sit back anymore. The global tech war is heating up, and the next round of attacks could target China's entire domestic supply chain or escalate the pressure on Huawei's remaining lifelines. The stakes? Nothing short of total survival. Now let's talk about the titans, the giants that keep America's tech empire standing. NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm. But SMIC's audacious move is shaking their foundations to their core. NVIDIA, the undisputed ruler of the AI chip market, is about to face its most formidable rival. Imagine China flooding the market with its own 2 nanometer chips for AI. The cost advantage alone could place SMIC in direct competition with NVIDIA. Not just in China, but globally. This isn't just a competitive threat, it's an existential one. Then there's Intel, already falling behind with its 7 nanometer chips, while SMIC is aiming for the moon. Intel could find itself irrelevant if SMIC masters its 2 nanometer production. And the kicker? This is happening in regions where geopolitics isn't quite so toxic. If SMIC can scale this production, Intel's customer base could vanish almost overnight. And Qualcomm? The company relies heavily on TSMC's cutting-edge technology. But what if SMIC's 2 nanometer chips are better, faster, and cheaper? Qualcomm could see its grip on the mobile market slip through its fingers. This isn't just about competing with technology, it's about survival in the modern tech world. Let's shift focus to Taiwan, the true heart of global chip making. TSMC has long held the title of the world's leading chip maker, crafting chips from 3 nanometer to 5 nanometer. But SMIC's breakthrough threatens to upend Taiwan's dominance. If China can mass produce 2 nanometer chips, TSMC's hold on the global tech market could crumble in a matter of months. Taiwan's entire economy is tied to TSMC, and if China can usurp its lead, the island could face an economic catastrophe. Then there's the geopolitical nightmare. Taiwan is a key U.S. ally, and TSMC's chips are central to American defense and power. But reports are already surfacing that TSMC is under mounting pressure from Washington, facing fines for allegedly selling chips to Huawei. 
SMIC's rise only makes things worse. It tightens the noose on TSMC from both Washington and Beijing. Taiwan's grip on the global tech scene has never been more vulnerable. For the West, this goes beyond just technology. It's about losing power, losing influence, losing control of the future. Chips power everything. AI, defense, military systems, the very backbone of the modern world. If China becomes self-sufficient in chips, the US will lose its ability to dictate the flow of technology. And that's when the global balance of power will be irrevocably altered. Countries that once relied on Western chips could turn to China, where technology is cheaper and free from the threat of sanctions. The world is shifting, and the US is being left behind. 